Welcome to another video of Autumn of Wild Survey. I am not in Blackpool in this video. I'm a little ways out of Blackpool. I'm up here in Thornton. Yes, Thornton. FY5. But maybe four or five miles outside of, of Blackpool or away from Blackpool Tower, should I say. It's to my south and west from here. I'm just going to give you some idea about where I am. We're not too far away from what used to be the ICI works. Who remembers the ICI works on the banks of the River Wire? It's out there. But I'm going to be taking it to look at Elite Competition's new house. Yet they've got another house giveaway. We're going to be checking it out. It's just down the road from here. So before we get to see the house, I just want to give you a quick look around because I haven't really explored this area very much. I'm not all that familiar with Thornton to be quite honest but I'm on West Drive as you can see West Drive here now this road here very busy it's called Fleetwood Road and if we look over here can you see we've got signs there turn right for Blackpool and left for Fleetwood we've got a Brian House Children's Hospice shop here just on the corner of West Drive and Fleetwood Road so Fleetwood is that way yeah, probably about a mile or so towards Fleetwood. And just over here, we've got a convenience store, which is not even two minutes walk away from the house. So let's head down this way now and we'll check out the house. Yeah, this road is quite busy, as you can see. But the house itself, which is just down that road over there called Springfield Drive, and it's just off this main road, and I think... Uh, It'll be a fair bit quieter down there, but it does have very good transport links as well because we're not too far from the main road that takes you all the way to the motorway. And I think Thornton is actually quite a nice place as well, you know. It is, it is a nice, it's a nice area. It sometimes gets lumped in with Cleveland, but I think the further west you go, if you go to the west, you're in Cleveland. Where we are now, I would say this is Thornton. On its own, no problem. We believe this, eh? But anyway, we're just across the road now. There's Springfield Drive. Oh, Springfield Drive. Well, it sounds like a nice street, doesn't it? Let's go and check it out, shall we? Look at this. The sun's coming out here in Thornton. Nice, quiet little road, this Springfield Drive. And as I turn around now, we can now see the house which is being given away in this latest competition. Check this out, a detached house, a two bedroom valued at 200,000 pounds, this. And I've already been in to have a look and I have to say it's absolutely amazing inside. So let's go and check out the latest giveaway for elite competitions. So that's how far we are away from the main road. Look at that blue sky now. Anyway, check this out. There's a, the sign there. Win this house. All the details will be in the description. It costs $3.99 per ticket. They like to give away a lot of different types of houses to suit different people. And this one here, I would say, would probably suit a young couple. It's a two-bedroom, like I said. Two-bedroom detached house. But I tell you what, though. I think it's really, really nice inside. So let's go and check it out, shall we? Okay, so here we go. We've got the big ribbon on the door there. Now, as we come in here, we come straight into the lounge. Look at this. Oh, it passes a sniff test. Look at that. I do like the deco. Look at that there, you've got your TV there. Some nice pictures on the wall. And a nice couch there. The stairs are part of the room as well. And we've also got this nice glass, um, sort of instead of, you know, instead of the, like the wooden rails, we've got that as well. That's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, so let's, that, that's a little look at the lounge. Very compact. Like I said, let's have a look at the kitchen. I love the kitchen, this is pretty awesome. Very compact again, like I say. Well specced with this smeg toaster there and the smeg kettle, but just look at this here. Check it out. And where's the washing machine? Well, 
Da -da. There's your washing machine. And what about a dishwasher? We could do with a dishwasher, couldn't we? There you go. Everything is so compact in here, but then again, with it being a two bedroom house, everything does have to be quite compact, but uh, I actually really like this, the way it's been done. We'll just have a good look around and we'll have a little look at the, we've got a dining area here. There you go, just by the patio doors. We'll have a look outside in a minute, but check this out. This is, this, this is really nice. This, look at this, we've got a downstairs toilet. Look at that. Check it out. And notice how it's all tiled as well. We've got all tiles here, look, all tiled all throughout. Underfloor heating as well. I forgot to show you down here. We've actually got some space in here under the stairs. So let's have a little look here. This is where the boiler is. Under underfloor heating, of course. So there you go. That's a little look at the boiler. We've got some room in there, of course, for storage. But now we'll have a little look outside, shall we? Have a look in the garden. Not a huge garden, but but uh, what I do like about it is that we're not really overlooked as such. If you look over the back there, we've got trees and we've got this very high fence. Notice we've got this very high fence going all the way around. If, if I come this way, we do have some neighboring properties there, which do overlook. But overall, I think it's a pretty good space. What do you think? Okay, I'm now right at the back of the garden and we're looking towards the back of the house there. So as you can see, it is quite compact, but uh, as you can see, they've made a good use of all the space inside and it would definitely suit a young couple, um, maybe maybe with one child or something like that, starting a family. We'll have a look upstairs and see what the bedrooms are like, shall we? And the bathroom as well. I think you'll be impressed. We've got this pathway coming from the front here and there's a gate there. So there is access to the back from the front, which is quite handy. Right, okay, so let's head back in again, shall we? Another quick look at the kitchen, there you go. Through to the lounge, there you go. Another view of the lounge, we're gonna head upstairs now. And uh, I think we'll look at the bathroom first because I'm actually really, really impressed with the bathroom. Wait till you see this. There we go. Look at this now. Wow, look at that. It's like being in a hotel. It really is. Look at that bath there, isn't it nice? Got a window as well, of course. Let's have a look around. Let's look this way. Walk-in shower, there you go. Got some nice light coming into the bathroom because uh, the back of the house faces towards the south. Yeah, so I forgot to mention that the, the back, the back of this house faces south. So we've got a south facing garden out the back, which is actually really, really good. So I think now that we've had a little look at the bathroom, I think you're pretty impressed actually, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the, the bedrooms. Okay, so that was the bathroom and just next to that is the little bedroom which is not bad, not bad size. I can't give you the dimensions off heart, but uh, it's roughly 10 foot by, I would say about probably 15 foot or something like that. But you could definitely get a, um, you could get a double bed in here if you wanted to, I think. Or you might want to put um, bunk beds in or something like that to make more use of the, the small space. So let's have a little look out the window, shall we? Look. So this is Thornton, folks. Look at that. It's not a bad view, is it? We're just looking at them trees over the back there. And you know, I'm not very familiar with Thornton, but I have to say, it is a nice area. It's a decent area um, of the filed coast. The postcode is FY5. Um, the, the council is Wyaburra because we are near the, the river wire so it's Wyaburra Council and we're not too far from Fleetwood so we're kind of in between Fleetwood and sort of in between Fleetwood and um, I would probably say Polton Polton not too far away from Polton Polton we far the little market town as well which I've done but anyway let's have a look at the front bedroom shall we here we go look at this wow 
Look at that. TV as well. In the bedroom, I must say, I'm not really a big fan of having TVs in the bedroom, but a lot of people do like to have TVs in the bedroom these days, don't they? <laughs> so, nice big mirror there, if you want to check out. I'll try and stay out of the mirror if I can. But anyway, let's have a look out this window, shall we? Can you see out there? Let's see if we can lift the blinds up a bit. Look at this, look. I mean, it looks decent, doesn't it? It's a decent area. Another little little sort of alcove there. You can shove stuff into there. We've got a, a dressing unit here. We've got another alcove here. You could put a, a wardrobe in there, maybe if if you want. Oh look, you can see me in the mirror now. I was trying. I was trying to avoid being seen in the mirror, but you caught me. So there you go. That's the Thornton house, and this house is being given away. It's the latest house to be given away by Elite Competitions, based in Bispam. Three ninety nine is the ticket price. They like to give a varied amount of properties away. So, like I said, this one would suit a a young couple in the twenties, um, or possibly with a child or something like that. You know, we've got the back bedroom there, so it's more than big enough. But at the same time, it's very very compact. But they make good use of the space. So could you win this house? Well, I will put the details in the description. The draw is going to be on the 27th of September, 3.99 per ticket. They also sort out all the stamp duty, all the legal fees, all that sort of thing. And remember, if you don't want the house, you can take a cash alternative of 175,000 pounds. I'm just making my way down the stairs now. So there you go, folks. Will you be lucky and will you win this house? They've given away many before, as we've seen. So I'm just making my way out now. Oh, that's a nice, nice front door. And we've also got space here for two cars as well on the drive. So will you be lucky? Link in the description, as always. If you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.